What's going on guys? I'm here to show you how to use Twitch alerts. Twitch alerts allows you to interact with your stream. It allows you to have notifications when you get followers, subscriptions, donations, hosts, and a plenty of other things. Now, to use Twitch alerts, it does not come pre-installed into OBS. You're going to need a plugin for this, and I'm going to show you exactly where you're going to do. You're going to navigate over to this page. I will put this link down in the description below for you guys for ease of access. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to the operating system that you were using. Now, for me, I am on Windows 10. Therefore, I'm going to click the download latest under the Windows section. If you're on a Mac, these are the Mac downloads for that. Click this. Going to be redirected to a page and it's going to open with this you're going to need to have an extraction program i use winrar for winrar we're going to open with this you're going to get a download once you click the file you're going to go to your downloads and you are going to click this to open up the zip file once you click that you're going to have obs plugins you're going to right click this and you're going to extract to a specific a specific folder now it's going to tell you where you want to extract it to and navigate and you can figure out where you want to do it. I'm just going to put it on my desktop just for the ease of access. You're going to click desktop and we're going to hit OK. So what that is doing now is that it's extracting the file directly to desktop. Now we're going to grab that file. And now we're going to grab that file and drag it over here don't need this window we don't need anything else as of right now now we need to have our file manager open and you need to find where you downloaded we're going to have both of the files open so what are you going to do this is the extracted folder down here you need to navigate to your obs mine happens i saved it on my new volume d hard drive it is in programs x86 going to want to have OBS studio want to click bin now I've already done this but this is how you do that you need to put these folders within these folders very kind of complicated with word but just follow along click 32 bit on both of them you're going to drag and drop all of these files within your file I have already done so so there's just gonna be duplicates and you want to do the same with the 64 bit and once you have done that put that in there you will have the extension for OBS now with OBS you will notice that you have a new thing called browser source that is what you are going to use to get your OBS onto your stream show up on your stream and such forth now you need to go link your twitch account with the twitch alerts website twitchalerts.com as said here once you're on Twitch Alerts, you want to hit Launch Twitch Alerts. And it will tell you you need to connect this with your Twitch. I've already logged in and have my password saved on my computer, and it will go straight to my Twitch account. Now, this is just some information of what happens. This is where all these alerts happen. They will give you anything that you have set up. So if you have donations, if you have subscriptions, if you have followers, if you have hosts, they will show up here. What you need to do now is you need to go to the Alert Box thing it's 0.0 version this is where you are going to need to have both your obs and it we are going to put this on the same screen real quick we're going to hit plus browser source i already have mine existing but to do this i'm just going to do ta for twitch alerts just to make it easier we're going to hit okay and with this url that is where you're going to take this information right here going to copy it and you're going to paste it in that URL that is what is going to be your twitch alert you're going to hit ok and this is what is going to pop up in your OBS it's just going to be a blank box that is where all the notifications the badges the messages and anything that you would like that is where it's going to show up in your stream as long as you have it selected so now we get to edit the twitch alerts that we have I've already done so I've already done a little bit of testing and I've done a little bit of uh of tweaking around so yours won't look exactly like mine so for my follower alert or follow this is what my follower alert is now my name is Jeff 
It's a little gift that says, my name is Jeff. It's just something I liked and I thought it was cool. And that is what shows up on your stream. You can edit the size of this to make it shorter. You can make it bigger. You can do whatever you would like to do. You can do this with test subscription alert, test donation alert, and test hosting alert. Test donation alert. John C. <laughs> donation that is what will pop up in my stream i'll be able to hear it in my headset for a alert that i need to look over and say that this person has donated now to switch this it is all right here this is where you're going to switch whatever you would like if you want jet if you want gifts if you would like a text if you would like a banner if you'd like a badge anything that you would like you can set that up in here this is where you're going to do a little bit of of your own creativity whatever you would like to do you can a custom if someone has made made you a badge or a banner that you could play that is another option to do this is all over here and that is where you for your follower alerts your donation alerts that is how you set up twitch alerts and that is how you are going to be able to do your twitch alerts if you like the video if you have it's informational give it a thumbs up if you have any questions leave a comment below if you want to see more please subscribe adios